I have to always, and my best friend and I always say like, best is the enemy of good. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. You know, like I might not be the best singer. I might not be the best actor. I might not have every single award, but like I thoroughly enjoy what I do and I love it so much that I don't want to do something else. So I don't have to, you know, I'd be the absolute best at something because that way I'm never even going to try. Cause that for me, I'm like, if I can't be the best, I don't want to try. If I can't, you know, overnight, if I'm not fluent in whatever language I'm trying to learn, forget it. Why am I going to start? And that's, we, we know like logically that doesn't make sense. So that is something that I still contend with. And you have a, a pretty strong support system, right? You're there with your, your best friend and yeah. you, from the things that I see online, your um, this is us cast is like family. So is that, is that the case? Oh, for sure. I mean, anybody that meets anybody in the cast is always like, Oh my God, they're the nicest human beings. Cause they really are um, wonderful, grounded, talented, obviously, but just, you know, if you need something, if you have a question, if you just want to chat, like we're all just, we're just close and we're friends and we are like, like family. And I know that this doesn't happen probably ever. You know, everything about the show was like lightning in a bottle. So we are very, we're very, very lucky to have, you know, what I'm, I feel very lucky to have everybody in my life. Have you sent anybody or been sent any like pick me up messages during the quarantine? Like, oh yeah. yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I um, I started a Facebook group called the Dreamers. Um, that's like a private group just to sort of connect with people and chat and whether they're asking questions about music and stuff and um, whether it's through the cast. Like, we have a group text and chat that we're like, hey, how's everybody doing? And we've done a Zoom call and. Um, just any way that we can connect to to our loved ones or our friends or even strangers who we've never met before, you know. Um, it's really important. I think we, we, we really miss it and we value it. And now more so than ever. Like, I really hope that when I'm wherever, that I, whether we're close proximity or not, depending on what's going to happen with the rules and regulations, that like, I will be less frustrated about you know, somebody cutting me off on the road and be like, oh my gosh, it's a person in the car, you know, um, all the things that we sort of take for granted um, about just connecting. I hope I feel differently about it. So yeah, I, I try to reach out, of course, to my friends and my family. I do a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of FaceTime. Um, now, like phone calls are not enough, right? Just to hear someone's voice. I'm like, eh, it's not enough. Can, can, can I FaceTime you? And I, everyone's like, Chrissy, I can't always pick up FaceTime. I'm like, okay. I can't either, but like, I want you to be available because I just miss people's faces. So. Oh, fair enough. I mean, yeah. after, you know, months and months of being on your own or being with one other person, it gets very hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, wow. Have you seen that really sweet idea that people are putting like the shower curtain up and then the holes through it and then they put like long gloves on. So they, another person goes on their side. So like a grandma can hug their grandchild it is so sweet. I'm like, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Hallmark card. <laughs> yeah, it's just so tender and and lovely, you know? Yeah, really cute. Very lovely. Yeah. Well, did you get a chance? I, I'm not sure about this. It, did you guys get a chance to actually shoot the upcoming season of This Is Us? No, so we wrapped season four, uh, the beginning of March, like March 8th or something, I think we wrapped. And then we typically go back in July. So I know there was a big hullabaloo today that, because John Huertas, who plays Miguel on the show, he's on the SAG board. And so there was this article that came out that said like, we're not gonna get back till January uh, shooting the show. And we were like, wait, what? But he was only saying that if there's a second wave of, you know, an influx of cases that we would of course for, safety sake have to wait till January but I don't think that's going to be the case so I think sooner rather than later um maybe I don't know I guess it would be sometime in the fall because typically we go back in July but they just have to figure out how it's going to be worked 
you know, there's 150 people on set at any given time, you know, so, and the actors are the most vulnerable, you know, cause we don't, we can't wear PPE. So, um, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. I think everybody's trying to adjust and make decisions best. Well, I guess it's like prolonging the inevitable a little bit too, which is in a sense good since I think it was announced that you guys only have two seasons left. Yeah, we have season five and six. Um, who knows if it'll ever get extended or if there's a real spin off or something. Um, and, but I do, I do know that that's, that's what we were definitely picked up for. But two seasons is still a significant amount of wonderful screen time. And, uh, oh, yeah, even just saying that, I'm like, oh, my gosh. I can't believe it's been four and we have two left. So, Would you sign on to us, Kanal? I think I would. I mean, obviously, depending on what it's about, the, the content, the actors, I would love, of course, Dan or any of the writers to be involved because that's really the integrity of the show is the incredible writing, you know? So, I mean, yeah, if it, if it feels right, for sure, yeah. Have you ever gone back and watched the episodes and gone, I can't get through one episode without crying? <laughs> like, oh yeah i mean every time i watch the show even though i know what the heck is coming up i still am like okay or something will hit you differently because you've changed or you you know or something has affected you differently because you've experienced it now than you know before and yeah i always get emotional